And now, Reformer802.com Real Talk blogger Shanta asks you to ponder this. Did Emily Dickinson do it? Did Van Gogh care enough about it? Did it drive him? Would we accuse John Michael Basquiat of it if he existed today? The it that I'm referring to is the popularity contest that everyone has entered into in the age of social media, all in an effort to be seen or heard. Recently, I was talking with a musician about this very thing. We chattered in a crowded coffee shop about our disbelief and disdain over how everyone was putting their creative work online and it seemed to be reduced to monitoring for the number of likes or views. We pondered such things as what does it communicate when you put something out that you've created and no one responds or does it dictate the value of creative product? Towards the end of the conversation, my friend used the term digital shenanigans to encompass what we were talking about. Digital shenanigans seemed to summarize the hamster wheel that we all seem to be running on these days. Weeks later, the digital shenanigans entered my mind while I shared and reshared some of my written work and thought about the other recent conversation that I had with another friend about my photography website. She asked whether or not I had a Facebook page for it, and I admitted that I was afraid that it would not obtain the number of likes as similar pages, and she said, Oh, likes? You can buy likes, she said, with an ease. And yet that didn't feel right to me either, though I knew she was sincere in her suggestion. In the age of our ability to buy likes and appear popular to gain an audience for our creations, is it all worth it? And of course, I still wonder what Emily Dickinson, Van Gogh, or John Michael Basquiat would do in this technological age.